So I've been working on that five rep max power. I've been doing a lot of singles, doubles, and triples, but no high reps over 315 for a long time. So I'm gonna spend the next couple weeks building up my five rep max power on the bench press. Starting with uh, 315. I wanna get good at doing five rep maxes again. It's been a while. So I figure about a couple weeks I could add, I'm gonna work up to maybe 325 for five. Right here I got 315. I'm gonna do five reps with this. It's been a while, ever since I lost weight. I lost leverage, so I was more reluctant to do uh, higher reps. Sticking mostly to singles, doubles, and triples. I'm five foot 11, not super tall, but that takes me out of that pound for pound strength category. I have to put on a lot of weight to get strong, and I don't want to put on the weight, so I'm trying all these tricks to get strong again without putting on weight. So after the five rep set, which is uh, close to all out, I'm doing five heavy singles, so I'm pre-exhausted. So the whole plan is to work up to 325 for five on the first set, followed by the heavy singles. And then remove the five rep set and then just go back to doing singles and should be a big jump in strength after that. And here's some of the assistance exercises I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing the floor press. This has been uh, effective. Doing three sets of eight here, 255. Not, not pause on the floor. So it's actually harder when you don't pause the elbows on the floor. And works the triceps more. Keeps the chest out of it about 25% more. Now if you pause on the floor, you could probably do 25% more weight. But I'm not worried about the chest. Chest gets enough work from the the barbell flat bench pressing. So I'm going to keep doing these. I think I got a lot of gains to make on this, so this should help too. And the next, uh, later on in the week, I do uh, the ultra close grip board press. This is another effective exercise. So the, the grip's even closer. So you know, the index fingers are on the smooths. And uh, this, is a, this is a great exercise. Without this, definitely, uh, definitely would lose strength. Unless I gain more weight. So uh, here I am, you know, work up to 350 on that. And uh, here's another one. This is the 80 degree high incline, high incline press. Very effective exercise. I took a break from this, but I'm starting to do it again. Got to get some kind of shoulder girdle work in. And uh, probably start doing some behind neck pressing again. Lighter, not too heavy, but high reps. Maybe three sets of 15 as a finisher for more uh, shoulder stability. And for my chest thickener exercise, I narrowed it down to the neutral grip. Bench press, this seems to be the best exercise for thickening the chest. I think this beats out the the dumbbell bench press. Even though you can stretch deeper on a dumbbell bench press, but this is a... This neutral grip uh, brings the chest in a lot, and at a closer grip, it's pretty consistent. Now with dumbbell bench press, you're going to be, you know, flaring out a little bit in the elbows. Shoulders going to be coming in more. And uh, I think I narrowed it down. Some good exercise here. I'm getting thicker in the triceps. Chest is getting thicker noticeably. I think it's a good good exercise selection for building up the bench, getting thicker without putting on too much weight. And uh, so far it's been uh, effective. I haven't been gaining weight, maybe a couple pounds here and there, fluctuates, but nothing crazy. All right, so that's it for now. I'll talk to you later. Bye.